All right, guys, what is up? It is Gnomes. I'm in a game between myself and Grandpa69. Grandpa69 isn't Battlemaster here, but all right, let me close the window real quick. Yeah, exactly. So what I was going to say is Grandpa here um, isn't Battlemaster, but normally he is very good. Um... I think he's had top 10 a few times. I'm not positive, but I think so. Uh, now, the battle group I'm playing, he's playing, obviously, Ferk. Ferk slash Psychic. And I'll be playing a um, Deep Wounds battle group. That's why I have this uh, Dark Runner with the Deep Wounds and the Knockout. I wonder what I can go other than Knockout. Knockout doesn't seem that good, because I want to be basic attacking in this battle group. Not really playing abilities, right? What else could I play? Is there anything that makes him cheaper? I could go Shred Defense or Snatch. Snatch might not be bad because I don't have any equipment to do anything to do with equipment. All right, let's do Snatch. I'm gonna save that just in case. Why not? Just so I have a way to deal with equipment. Not always a bad idea. And the reason I uh, play the Dark Runner going this way is because he does have Stealth with Shadow Shift. So once I get this font, I can uh, bounce back and forth depending on if I want to be in the middle font or if I want to go to his top font. And he doesn't really know where I am after I stealth, right? So that's my idea here. We're going to move over here. We're going to stealth and shadow shift. And then we're going to play the... I don't want to play the exile yet because I want the um, revere champions out. So I get some Nora back. I'm thinking about the alpha just because with... Even though, do, do I ever just play Alpha Bot? Because he kind of just deals with this every day, right? So then I could play Badger Wolf here. Um, actually, I mean, Badger Wolf deals with the Stillwater Mutant just as well, doesn't he? Oh, wait, he doesn't have Shield. He has Soul Channeling for some reason instead of the Shield. So actually, anything can deal with him pretty well. So let's go... I think Alpha is just a tiny bit better. It's hard to say. But I mean, look, I mean, swap plus pounce. How dope is that, right? Oh, that's a hard choice. Eh, let's go Badger Wolf. I, it's, I don't really know which one's better in this case. We'll just go Badger Wolf. Um, there is the voice shield here. But I do have electric as well as physical here, uh, damage-wise, so we don't really need to be afraid of of the Void Shield too much. Um, we also have Stoker with the Purging Flames, as well as Ritualist with this spell. It's so like I said, what the spell group is, it's, it's, it's a Deep Wounds battle group, but whenever I see Deep Wounds, it's played this like all-out style with where basically every champion is Deep Wounds. And I don't think that works out too well. All right, here we have the... Okay, now he has detection and stealth himself. But, and the reason I don't think that really works is because um, you need champions like Peaks Marid, right? Like, if I had just had another Deep Wounds champion, how am I ever moving in on him? Like, I'm just losing this middle font because I can never get, like, a range attack and do stuff. Here, I have this Marid now that can... Again, I've said this so many times, to, to smooth in the curve, so to say, um, to, to make sure that I don't die right away to absurd things that make me lose. And that way, I can get the most value. So there's no bottleneck, right? I get the most value out of Deep Wounds because I have my front line with Deep Wounds. But then I get... I have enough of the support champions and the other champions that are maybe just needed to, um, you know... Make sure I don't die of the easy things, right? Um, let's see. He has a four. He won't be here next turn. Um, I don't know if I really want to swap next turn. Maybe I swap the turn after. Of course, he does have stealth detection. Um, but we'll shadow shift here, which should still be fine. Unless he moves up. If he just moves up, though, who wins this 1v1? It's hard to say. Let's see. Four. Eight, it's it's um, not AP. It's... Uh, FS. FS doesn't really have AP gen. So 4, 1, put this up. 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, exactly. And then 1, 2, 3. So I don't really need to deploy anything here yet. Let's deploy something middle instead. Uh, and I don't want to use swap yet either. We will use this. 
Uh, there's no possess, so I don't have to be afraid of like a cliff dive situation. I'm fine with one more deep wounds champion here, I think. Do I want maybe the stalker? No, I don't, because he has the sabotage out, right? So maybe just alpha, he'll regen part of it. And he has Calcify, so he can deal with the damage a bit more easily. I could also go Mika. Mika is good because it's another attack type. And then I'll have the heal for the uh, Sabotage. And on the Aura is really good with Deep Wounds. But I think I want to go Alpha. I like having two Deep Wounds champions out. That's generally how I play it. Two Deep Wounds champions, and then everything else is just normal, normal champions, right? Because... And I'm going to leave my Marid here as well. Because you only need two to attack, and then you get the kill anyway. If you have three, you're just you're overkilling, right? And you again, you just want the Marid instead. Yeah, he's gonna he's threatening my bottom font now. We'll have to deploy. We'll see what we deploy here. I'm thinking the Stalker. Um, but I'm not positive yet. He moves over here. Now, he's, he was here plus four, right? One, two, three, four. So he's around here. Ah, oh, fuck. I didn't see if he has Shadow Shift. I don't think he does. I think he had Stealth and Detection. But we can see of maybe getting a kill with a Price of Victory next turn. Price of Victory or a Harpoon, right? So if we move down here, Harpoon, and then attack, attack. He's at four, so he's at eight. Oh, he's moving in? There has to be a Poison Trap here, right? By the way, Poison Trap is weird when it comes to swap. I think they both get poisoned. So you have to really watch out with Poison Trap. That means I'm going to want to Pounce, right? Because Pounce will get the Poison Trap to go away, but I'll still deal damage. So, let's see. He's going to engage. There has to be a Poison Trap here, 24, right? 24-7. So there's a I don't want to swap because of the Poison Trap. We're going to have to move... Oh, unless it's here. If it's here, then me moving back gives causes it to go off anyway right so then maybe i just do grant evasive and then retreat and then attack one two three four five six i'm two off huh. what if i run into it does that help at all not really right i don't think so if i run this way and the poison trap is here then I'm only closer to the Marit, or the Peaks, the Exa Spicer. And the thing is, I have no way to kill the Relic anyway. With range. And again, I think Swap fucks up both champions. I'm almost very sure. Can we get this kill? It could be here or here. I'm not positive. So let's... 4, 5. Retreat here. We'll see if the Poison Trap is there. Right? And with the pounce. Okay. So we're going to pounce here for sure. Where's the poison trap? There it is. Easy peasy. Yeah, 24-7, dude. That was so easy to see coming. And now I'm thinking... Let's see, are we in range? We're four. I'm one off here, actually. Yeah, one off. Oh, wait. I can just Avarice. Or, I mean, sorry, uh, Widowmaker. How much resistance does he have? That's not enough. But he doesn't have deep wounds, is the thing. So that won't be enough. Actually, he has zero defense, so I think it is enough to just Widowmaker. But if I Widowmaker, I'm not playing a champion, am I? 66? Actually, I can play the Alchemist here. I think this is a kill because he'll take the dot damage yeah he'll take the dot damage I'm not sure about the dark runner though and where I want to put him because he's gonna be found no matter what but then where do I want to be you know uh, I'm barely off. I'm just going to stay here, I think. And we'll find out what happens soon. I'll just put it here. Fuck it. 
So now what I did, I, I think, I hope this should kill. There you go. So there's the perfect kill with the um, with the Widowmaker. We saw that Poison Trap coming, right? That was, it was so obvious. Like, why else would he move up like that? You're never moving in like that unless you have a Poison Trap ready. And I know how the interaction works with Swap, where it fucks up and they both become poisoned, right? They both become uh, screwed. So we had the exact Nora um, that we needed as well because we we had 38 Nora left if we deployed Alchemist, but because we were partially SP, we got Nora back. We got three Nora back, which allowed us to play Alchemist into Widowmaker. Now the one iffy thing here is we have our Dark Runner. He has detection. There it is. Yeah, but he can't really do that much. He can find me and then attack. Right? He can attack once, but then I double tap him possibly. Right? I'm fine with him finding me because I want him to just attack me. So I kind of saw this coming and I want it to happen. I want him to find me and attack. And then I can move in, double tap Avarice, and I might get a kill. But yeah, he wasted his champion. I'm getting the Nor Globe and I got the Poison Trap. So maybe he's not as good as I thought. I thought it was really good though, the player, I mean. He also is playing weird upgrades, right? Like Soul Channeling is a weird upgrade. Behemoth is a pretty weird champion. It's a, it's like a um, Soul Tap battle group. Yeah, it's a Soul Tap battle group with Firk. But it just doesn't work out. Anyway, yeah, we're, we brought the Alchemist here because it was the cheapest champion I could deploy. Um, that, yeah, it was actually the only champion I could deploy to give me the play. And what it does is it allows me to play my Grunda Wolf with the Action Potion, which is nice. I get this Nora Globe. I could move up, but I'm oh, he doesn't have stun, dude. He's playing so many bad upgrades. Like, usually you go stun on the extra spice, or usually you have void shield here. He's just not going. I have to be a tiny bit afraid of him going top, but he doesn't have it this turn. If anything, maybe next turn. Ooh, this is an interesting play. I could mind slicer. I still have swap. Do I mind slicer to get this kill? Do we move here or here? I think here, right? Let's see, I have two left. I can I can double tap. I can't use the action potion because it costs one AP. But I could uh, price of victory. Double tap, that's 13, and then another bit, but that's not enough. I don't really need the kill here, right? Let's think about this in a, in a general sense. We don't need this kill right away, right? So let's just attack here. We don't need this kill right away. We do have to be afraid of the Psychic Agony, though. Ooh, that was close. Forgot about that, because we have to watch out for this, yeah. Um, so let's see if we cannot find his top champion with this Mind Slicer. So there's, oh wow, that was ingenious of me. I did not see him coming, but there you go. We'll take this Snorl Globe. We'll just move up with him and attack. There you go, easy. So we got this kill, and that's why you don't really need detection often is um, in UD, is because you have Mind Slicer Boomerang. So And if you know the general idea of where they are, you're fine. I also have um, Grundlewolf Pup, which has detection. All right, so he can't double tap. Like, oh, he can. Doesn't matter. Should I move back with him one? Sure. Ah, I didn't in time. Thing is, he can. He has 10 AP, and he can Soul Seeker double tap. So I could have moved back with him one. All right, but then he just goes for the Marid. So now he has to choose between the two. My double catalyst doesn't matter here because I have life siphon. Even though he quite took quite a bit of damage, only because of the um, the mind slicer boomerang that went off. Ooh, does get a attack here, which also gives distracted. I get the Nora globe though, unless he doesn't attack. Right, he can either attack or get the Nora globe, but not both. He has this double tap. I have to be again a bit afraid of poison trap, but not insanely afraid. Let's see if we can get this kill in the mute maybe next turn, because we have price of victory. So Price of Victory allows all of them to double tap, and we already have one Deep Wounds going. So we want to make sure to attack with the Alpha, 
before moving in because of the catalyst. So double tap with alpha and then move in with the alchemist. If we get our um, mandate of shoal, that would be a full heal. And then we can move him top. So I guess with mandate of shoal, we could price a victory mandate and then get two kills and get the null globe and go middle. Or bot, or top, I mean, this side. And then we just win the game. So yeah, mandate should be a, uh, a game and like a win, I mean. So we'll see. Mandate, double tap. Is he dead? He might be dead. 11. He takes the chill damage, plus 5. He's actually one off at the moment for the kill. Right? Because he takes 3 plus 2. And there's no aura here. Alright, so he plays a spell. That's fine. He plays a spell on my almost dead champion. I get the Noro Globe anyway. So yeah, he's just, it's just not working out for him. He's barely no kill always. Barely, you know, being inefficient. So I should get this kill. I get this normal globe and in the font. I get this kill most likely. Mandate, mandate, mandate. All right, no mandate. Could we just Avarice then instead? I mean, we don't even need Price of Victory here actually, unless we really want to attack with a Dark Runner. I don't think that matters. Do we deploy then? But well, I might need the Avarice is the thing. But I have two Norglobes I'm getting. So actually, with these two Norglobes... Actually, let's also see if there's another Poison Trap. There might be another one. Oh, I have Widowmaker up. Okay, this is just GG then. All right, let's just double tap here. Oh, wait, no. We have to watch out for the Psychic Agony. So we want to attack with everything else first. And I have this kill no matter what, right? Basically, no matter what. So we're just going to move him... We're going to move everything where they should be first. And then we will attack. And then we will deploy. So deploy last if we want to deploy. No! I, I meant to attack here first. It doesn't matter though. So that's the kill with the Widowmaker. Widowmaker coming in clutch. We'll just put the Avarice on him, I guess. And then we can actually deploy too. Uh, We'll just deploy the boost. Boost champion. There you go. So yeah, double kill. We're on his font. Easy. We misplayed. We knew exactly what we were supposed to do, but we should have attacked here first before uh, attacking with the alpha, which we knew, right? We, we told ourselves not to do it, and we still did it. Like, we're dumb. All right, he got top. He didn't deal that much damage to my beast caller because of magic resistance. He got his font back there. We're gonna get both Norglobes again. He takes one, two, three, four, five. I think he takes five damage in all from the soul tapped. I have regen. I know this this turn. He's in the font. Widowmaker, actually, by the way, was Phantom. Phantom gave me this idea of the Widowmaker, and it's coming in really well. Uh, do we ever pounce here? I kind of want to do this, just because I want to play the Exile, and it's such a good champion. But is it that good here? I do want ranged, but what? Do I play the Harakin, maybe? No, this gives me 78 to 89. This is more... Yeah, let's just do this now. It gives us a bit of Nora here, you know? Now, do we pounce is the next question. Or do we just chill? Like, we can pounce and then give him the evasive, but he gets double tapped. And then I also I lose my equipment, right? I don't want to lose my equipment, I don't think. How much AP? One, two, he's double, yeah, okay, he's fine here. So I'm out of range. See four, five, six, and then he has one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah. So we're out of range of the mine caller. He can't double tap with the behemoth. And then next turn we'll move in and get a kill. Right? So we we didn't go in this turn. He can attack my alchemist once, I think. Let's see, six, seven, one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, he can attack my alchemist if he wants, and that causes distracted. Which might mess me up, because then I won't be able to use my action potion. 
I didn't think about that. The action, I should have left him back one, a bit of a misplay. But I think I still have this kill because I have the um, Widowmaker. Wait, okay. Phantom, if you're listening to this Phantom, amazing idea. The Widowmaker coming in clutch twice now. Because it's another attack and it keeps, it causes the deep wounds. So it's just, it's just good. Yeah, see, he gets this. The um, distract. This was a good play. It was a misplay by me to move up one. Um, he has resistance magical, and that's it. Oh, he's going in for an attack here. We have double price of victory. We don't have any swaps, so we can never get him in, into the... Like, I would love to have him up here, just because of the life siphon. On life siphon, when you have uh, deep wounds is strong. But yeah, we can double tap. He's... I think, yeah, he's out of double tap range. Uh... Alacrity? Do I ever Alacrity then? He dies from Alacrity though. I could price a victory Alacrity. Now that would be next fucking level. Hmm. But he triple taps. Like the Badger will fucking triple taps. Do I really need that? I think we just price a victory really. Price a victory allows him to attack once too. Let's first move in with the Grundlewolf because we do have the detection. All right, so we're good here. I think we just go in and get the kill with the price of victory. That's my idea here. I could, I don't want to pri double price of victory either, I don't think. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, I'm not afraid of that either. So we'll just price a victory and get this kill, I think. And this this will not allow us to deploy, so we'll we'll do it afterwards. Yeah, this should be a kill though. Attack first with him. I don't think we need his attacks. So we'll move him up. Move him up. Move him there. Price of victory. Um Attack, attack, attack. Get that. Um, we'll just engage. Move him up. We could double price a victory. I just don't like that idea. How about instead we just zealotry to get the bottom font, I guess? It's not good. Don't get me wrong. It's not good. Um... Uh, I could have done the Grant Evasive here. There you go. GG. Nice game. Yeah, uh, a few misplays, but I think his battle group was just... Like, he has the idea of Ferk, which is good. But then he's going for, like, a Soul Tap module, which is bad, right? And Soul Tap by itself isn't bad because you get two Nora, which is strong. But the thing is, you're giving up a lot of very good upgrades, right? Like... Giving up Void Shield on that champion in FS when you have fucking uh, the um, Fawn of Restoration, like, no way, Jose, right? So you're not giving Fawn of Restoration up with Void Shield on the Ferk. That's a bad idea. Um, you don't want to give up the Stun on the uh, Mind, whatever, the Jalibrium. So, yeah, he's going, f and like like I said, yeah, Soul Tap is okay as an idea, but it, trying to play all these other abilities are also fine in itself, but you lose the good abilities that you want for the upgrades, you know? So if you had those other upgrades plus the whole uh, idea with um, the soul tap, then okay, but otherwise it just doesn't work out somehow. Anyway, GG.